Hello there, everyone, this is Indominator Bricks, and today I'm hitting the yeah. rewind button Fortnite. and redoing my first ever video. The short story is, I wasn't really happy with how that video turned out, so I decided to give it another go. This video will be split up into two sections, a review, and then later on a guide to modifying this set. Timestamps are in the description. But wait, before we begin, over 96% of viewers aren't so- Shut. So starting off with the exterior, you can see here, I covered up the Technic bricks that made up the cream of the Oreo with some greebling that includes uh, some bars, some grills, and even some this round bit here could represent a docking bay perhaps. Now both sides are mirrored, as you can see, and there are these blue and yellow lights here that could represent windows inside. Now for the interior, if we open up the lid, you can see I completely removed Chancellor Palpatine's office and replaced it with the command bridge. Now this command bridge has the iconic catwalk and trenches that are present in all the Star Destroyers. In fact, I actually borrowed the design of this catwalk from the 2014 uh, Imperial Star Destroyer. There are four seats for four clone Navy troopers uh, and they, they, they each have a chair and a computer terminal. And these on the side here are, represent the windows that look out into space. And uh, the studs there represent stars. And there's a hologram table at the front where you can put a hologram of a Jedi in robes. But it doesn't actually close if you keep the hologram on. So I store the hologram piece in this front section over here along with um, Anakin and Obi-Wan's lightsabers as well. Up next, I removed the bombing bay that was here and replaced it with a trooper bay. Now, if you've watched my first video, you, you've already know, uh, know all about this, but in case you haven't, I'll show you now. It has four seats for four clone troopers to sit down, and there's also four spots to hold the blasters as well. Here's what it looks like when you remove uh, the clone troopers. The next modification I made was that I removed the cannon that took up the backspace of the Venator and I put in a detention cell. You can remove it by pulling on this bar over here and taking it all out. There's this uh, red laser door here that came from a Marvel set, Red Skull Sub-Attack, and you can open it up and inside there's a, a bed for a prisoner. You can put one of the separatist prisoners in there, like Newt Gunray, for him to lie down there while he's waiting for a, a separatist ambush or, or something for his rescue. But you can also have an interrogation table. Uh, let me know in the comments if you recognize this scene from the Clone Wars. And you can also have uh, Darth Maul locked up in chains from Season 7. And it does fit with Darth Maul, by the way. In case you were wondering. There we go. Oopsie. There you go. Now for the very last thing I did. Um, I realized that after I did made the jail cell, there was a bit of um, extra space left over in on this side of the wing. So I decided to back a cannon so yeah I know it seems a bit contradictory to take out the cannon only to put it back again but this is a, a smaller version that can fit alongside the prison cell and it can spin around and shoot the, the separatist ships if you want this is what it looks like and yeah well guys that's the end of the review section the next part is gonna be a guide to building these modifications. Now let's start making the modifications. So the first thing you're going to want to do is remove all the Chancellor Palpatine stuff, like uh, these stickers here and this floor tile here. And you can see I replaced it here with a normal plate. Next thing you're, go you're going to want to do is open up your Technic box and find a bunch of these blue Technic pieces. Not this much, double the amount. More than double, okay? So, as many as you can find. 
Once you've got enough of those blue Technic pins, you're gonna want to put them on the Technic bricks like this, on the inside, and like this, on the outside. If you wanna pause the video so you can uh, try copy that. Also notice I removed this. Another thing you're gonna have to do is there used to be a 2x3 plate here. You're gonna have to replace it by one, one by two, and one inverted round uh, tile here. That's so that one of the chairs fit inside. And of course you're gonna have to do that on both sides. I know, the effort. Then on the inside you're gonna want to grab four of these two by sixes in black and put them alongside here. So you're gonna need eight in total. Then you're gonna want to make the window shape with some tiles and grills. You can choose whatever you want. I chose to use these um, jumper pieces here just because I had loads of those. Then you're gonna want to add some stars, like so. Then for the outside, you're gonna want to add some plates, like so, and then you can just decorate them however you like. Uh, after all, it's just greebling. So I encourage you to um, get creative with this one if you want. And you bet, you gotta repeat it on both sides. And then finally, you're gonna want to Put three Technic pins over here as well, and then put a, a few plates, that's three by five, I think, and then a few tiles here. Don't worry about this bottom section here, you won't be able to see it anyway. So now for the catwalk, you're gonna need seven of these slopes here. The, they can be three tall or two tall, whichever one you have the most, or if you doesn't really matter how tall it is, but I, I have m m most of these uh, three tall. So then you alternate them like this. Up until this end section over here, those last four plates, you're gonna want to put two bricks and two plates. this then you get two of the same size but one thick like this then you make four computer terminals and four seats with a round plate Hopefully you could follow along with that. Next up is the trooper bay. For the walls, you keep them as they are, except you remove the, the spinning gear thing over there. So make them identical. Now for this back section over here, we're gonna have to do some preparation first. I covered the back wall with some plates, and I tiled off this um, this black Technic beam over here with some tiles. And I also added this these two jumper plates and a tile 
for the cannon. Then you're gonna need uh, two of these one by eight tiles. I chose an, I chose red because I had them in red. Also, they kind of match the, the interior as it is, but you can use uh, any color you have, like this. Then you get one uh, plate in any color and put it right in the middle. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, but you have to remove all the the cannon stuff if if you haven't already. Then you get one one by eight again, and then a one by four tile, and you put them here like this, and then you get a couple of these cheese wedges on this side, and then just a single cheese wedge right there. Then you put a one by three, and then a one by three. Two by three. And that's just what you need to get this the sliding function. Quick note, I know not everybody has the, the Red Skull set, so if you don't have that, you could always just make um, a, a custom door using uh, red la lightsaber lasers. Or even a regular jail cell door. First I'll show you how to build the base. This is essentially what allows you to uh, slide on on the on this section right here. So if you don't want to build a prison cell, you could just build this and put whatever you want on top. But if you do, I'll show you how I built mine. Then you build a wall like this. Now for the cannon. Wrong way around, sorry. This way. Thank everybody for watching, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye! There are too many of them. What are we going to do? Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend.